Okay, so in my last video, I walked, I ran through the power rule and power rule for taking integrals. And so now we're just kind of remembering that integrals and antiderivatives are the same thing. And we're just sort of remembering that, well, the derivative of ln x is one over x. So the integral of one over x dx is gonna be ln x plus c. And so then I just wanna go through some other ones that you should memorize before we get into um, where we're gonna go. So let's just go through them again. Uh, we did this in the previous video, but that's okay. Um, one over n plus one, x the n plus one plus c. But uh, then we've got integral of k dx is equal to kx plus c. Integral of zero dx is gonna be c. And then that's sort of from stuff that I did in the previous video, but then I just wanna sort of lay out some of the ones that you should really be expected to memorize. Uh, the, in the integral of e to the x dx well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so the antiderivative of e to the x is also e to the x plus c. The integral of five e to the x dx is equal to five e to the x plus c. The integral of e to the five x dx, that's a chain rule reversed problem, so that's gonna be one fifth e to the five x plus c. I'll leave that for you guys to figure out. Use the chain rule to take the derivative of this and find out that it's that, okay? And then we've got um, our trig. So we've got the integral of sine x dx is gonna be uh, negative cosine x plus c integral of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus c integral of negative sine x dx is equal to cosine x plus c and the integral of uh, negative cosine x dx to negative sine x plus c. And let me dive into my binder here of my previous lecture notes. And let's see where I went through that. That's a chapter three lecture. So um, I'm almost there. Here's my binder notes from 3F. From lecture 3F, uh, there is lecture notes. So if you're taking the derivative, you go down this way and you roll back around. If you're taking the antiderivative, you back that way. Okay, video 3F was that one. Okay, so then we've got the integral of, let's do this one, this one's pretty simple. Five cosine x dx is gonna be five sine x plus c, and the integral of cosine five x dx, just following this one, mirroring that one, this again is a chain rule reverse problem, so it's gonna be one fifth cosine five x plus c. A lot of people have trouble with those, so make sure that you're taking the time to verifying, to verify that the this, oh, sorry, that's a sine x. That the derivative of this is equal to that. And then uh, the last few things that I want you to, oh, let's do another one of those. Let's do another one of those. The integral of two over x, oh, let's come back and do that in a second. Don't let me forget, if I forget, remind me. Okay. I'm gonna do a few of these. The integral of secant squared x, you go, what the heck is that? Well, if you remember, if you know, if you go back and you watch those uh, chapter three video, you are that the derivative of tangent x is gonna be secant squared x, and I got that plus c. Then you've got, 
And if you're really good, you go, oh, function me a derivative of secant x tan x. That was secant x plus e. And then you've got the integral of cosecant squared x dx. One is going to be negative cotangent x plus c. And the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx is going to be negative cosecant x plus c. So these are all sort of memorized. And you can figure them out, but it's a lot easier to just sort of memorize and know. Okay, so next word, we're gonna this one. The integral of two over dx is gonna be two times two over x dx, which is gonna be two and x. And then from my log rules, it'd be ln of x squared. Okay, so let's do that again over x dx is going to be 5 L C, and that's going to equal to ln plus c. We'll do a roll on that one. I've been telling you to do it, but let's just do a chain one. So say y equals ln and we won't worry about the plus c. So I'm going to see y equals ln u, and u equals x to the fifth. So I'm going to see d by u is equal to 1 over u. d x is equal to 5x to the fourth. Then I'm going to say dy is equal to du dx. And y u. So it's going to be 5x to the 4 times 1 over u, u is x to the 5th. And the x to the 4th are going to cancel all of those except for 5 over x. Okay. That's what I want to say. In chapter 7, we're going to start looking at some rules you can use. But right now, I want you to just be thinking antiderivatives as if you can function and imagine what function the derivative of, then you can find the antiderivative just by 